play is just playing the same shapes. I mean, these are from, the, from that last song. That's really how I got falling asleep playing. You know. I mean, your fingers are basically going, but you start very slow, of course. And that's how I learned to do it, just falling asleep and ending up on the floor, really, with a guitar on top of me. <laughs> it also does chords as well, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you just take the chord, or you just switch it from scales to chords there. Choose a chord, any chord. There's A, and then it all lights up just like magic. I'll put it uh, on the major scale. Right, there we are. And then and there's, so these three little lights down here. So, I mean, it doesn't tell you where to put your fingers, but there, there we've got an A there. And then there's one waiting for us up here. And you just cover him up. And it sounds pretty much the same. And then up here, it's exactly the same thing again. You know, waiting for us. Another one up here, and so on and so forth. Why is it important, though, to be able to get the same sound from different parts of the neck? Well, I found when playing in trios and things early on, you have to play lead bits and accompanying bits. It really helps to, to be able to, otherwise you, you're belting up and down, you're getting cramp and, you know, it all ends very sadly. So if you're working at one end up here, you don't want to have to... Right, you know, just to be able to play the same lick here. You know, to be able to, be able to play it... Um, uh, so you just play the same thing pretty much but in different positions, yeah. it is important. Who do you think might find this most useful? It's quite expensive. Well, it, I it wouldn't be for me because I'm not really a, a join the dots kind of, uh, <laughs> sort of a player, but um, I think music schools, it's got a real future in music schools because you don't really need a chord book. Right. I mean, except that the chord books do tell you which fingers to use, but right. the, the guitar teachers would do that. And I think for serious jazzers and people like that, I mean, look at these scales here. You've got Mixolydian, Dorian, Locrian, Phrygian. So I think for all the Phrygian freaks, it's a it's a real, <laughs> it's a real bewildering find. stuff. Mark, w would you like to play something for us of your own taste, and you can have the lights on or off? Well, if, if, if all the lights are on, uh, I just start to cry, and uh, and then I can't see my chords through my tears. So I think the best thing to do would really be to turn it off, and then okay. I just the noodling sort of stuff really is is just. Um, what I fall asleep doing, you know, it's just until I end up on the floor. It is just <laughs> stuff like that. Fantastic. Hey, Mark, any chance of me having an audition for the band? Any chance of having an yeah, audition yeah. for the band? Yeah. 